guys, Taos Amir and in today's video I'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu on VirtualBox. So you will need two things which is VirtualBox itself installed on your PC. I'll show you where to download that and also Ubuntu of which I'll also show you where to download it as well. And I'll also provide links to the actual websites where you can download them and also I'll link a video on how to install VirtualBox if you don't know how to install VirtualBox. Okay. So VirtualBox is a free open source application that we will use. So let's get started. So you want to go to these websites if you don't have Ubuntu and VirtualBox on your PC. You can just go on Google and just type in VBox. You should see this Oracle VM. Just click on that. So this will take you to the actual VirtualBox website which is here. So if you want, you can just click this download virtual box like that or you can come here where it says downloads then you want to click where your host So are you downloading it for a Linux distribution or is it a Mac or Windows? So in this case it's Windows for me I would click on Windows like that and immediately you should see a download pop-up either by the corner or when you click the three lines you go to downloads you should see it downloading there okay so in this video i won't show you how to down how to install virtualbox although it's very easy and you can easily go with it next next otherwise i've also linked a video on how to install virtualbox as well okay then you want to go to this website which is ubuntu.com which will take you to this site here okay so here you want to navigate to where it says downloads here click downloads then you want to click here where it says Ubuntu desktop and then which is 20.04 LTS which means long term support okay so now you will just want to click the green button like that click and it should start downloading okay same thing me mine is here I can go to downloads from there and I can see my Ubuntu there okay so once your download is done as you can see the file is quite big which is 3.4 GB so you can just wait for it to download and then we can continue with the video okay since I have this I'll just cancel it as well so now if you open up VirtualBox now okay after installing it if you open it this is what you should see okay for you you won't see any virtual machines but you only see tools there in this section here okay so these are just some of the machines that i have which is Kali Linux, Metasploit, Mac OS and Windows 11 okay so now for us to add our Ubuntu you just want to go to where it says new click new so now here uh, VirtualBox has a cool thing where if you type in Ubuntu like that as you can see automatically it has select it has known the type which is Linux and the version which is Linux 64 bit but if you can't see this just click on this drop down here and just select Linux and then on this other drop down just select Ubuntu 64 bit okay so here this is where the actual virtual machine will be stored and here you can choose where to store this so you can change the location let's say you can say other okay then it should bring this up so now it's up to you if you want to go with the default or not okay so if you don't want to go with the default you can choose any other location for me i'll just leave it in the default location like that and then i can press next okay so here now it's asking us to allocate ram to the virtual machine you can just drag like that so you can give it maximum depending on what you want to give it so in my case i'll just give it like that okay so that's what i'm going to give it as my ram which is about 4 gb okay so you can give it depending on what you have on your pc and then you can go with next okay so here it's asking us to create a disk just go with the default one which is create virtual disk now go with create okay then also here where it says a hard disk file type just go with vdi okay press next okay then here you also want to go with dynamically allocated so as you can see here the differences is even states and as you can see under dynamic it will only use the space required for it 
it will only scale up whenever there's need to scale up otherwise it will not take up unnecessary space that it's not using because the fixed one will take up the fixed amount that you've given it dynamic which increase depending on the load okay you can click next okay so then here you can create your hard drive disk size so as in in my case i would give it let's say for just for this video i would just say 20 like that okay then i just want to choose the location where i want the image to be so if you want you can leave it under default so in my case i just want to put it where i have a lot of storage so let's say i'll put it in there so now my disk will be stored in that ubuntu go with create like that okay then that will create and as you can see we only set the virtual machine up but we have not yet linked the actual iso image for ubuntu on the virtual machine so that's what we're going to do next which is click on it once and then go to settings so once you have my settings here uh, here you can leave everything but under advanced here if you want to share the clipboard with a virtual machine so let's say if you set it to bi-directional okay like that that means you can you can drag and drop things from your virtual machine to your host or your host to your virtual machine so if you want to be doing that you you can do all this you can just put bi-directional and that will allow you to drag and drop things from your virtual machine to your actual host system okay description encryption this you can leave for now and under system here you can also untick floppy disk there's nothing to use about that then you want to go access processor then here you want to give it at least so depending on your actual pc but i recommend at least two processors there okay then under acceleration you can leave it under default is fine then under display you just want to max out this video there okay then under storage now this is where we're going to add our iso image okay so you can click this empty you should see this pop up right here so you want to click the disk okay and then you can say choose disk file so now look for where you saved your image okay so in my case it's under my linux folder where i keep all my linux system and i can choose ubuntu there like that okay so now we have attached the actual ubuntu iso image to our virtual machine okay then here just a quick one under network so if you want your virtual machine to be on the same network as your host system you want to set it to bridged uh, adapter that will allow you to connect to the virtual machine via ip address like let's say on the same network otherwise if you leave it under NAT to act as if it is it's on its own separate network you won't be able to access it directly via ip address so i'll just leave it under NAT for now then we can just press ok so now our virtual machine is ready and we can start it up by just simply clicking on it and pressing start so you should see it pop up on the screen right now okay then once it pops up i'll just minimize the screen here so right now it's just loading so you just need to give it like a second okay and as you can see the virtual machine is starting and i'll also minimize the background so that we only have this in focus okay so now try or install ubuntu you can just go with as you can see right now it's starting okay so now it's still loading but at least now you can see the ubuntu background okay so now from here you can see the ubuntu installation like welcome page okay so here try out ubuntu this will allow you to test out ubuntu see if you like it and if you like it you can install it otherwise for us we want to install ubuntu so you want to make sure that your correct language is selected there so mine is selected english then i can just go with install same thing here under keyboard layout i want it to be english united states same thing here as english united states then i just want to press continue right there 
so you should see this page here okay so what apps would you like to install to start with okay so on this one i'll go with normal installation okay then here you want to leave the stick to download updates while installing ubuntu then also you can also tick this one which says install the party softwares for graphics and wi-fi hardware and additional media formats okay so now once that is ticked you can go with next or continue there okay okay so now on this page here under installation type okay we want to erase the disk and install ubuntu but let's say if you're installing ubuntu on we call it bare metal or let's say on hardware directly not on any virtual machine here you have to make sure that you are not erasing the hard drive that has in like let's say you have multiple hard drives and you only want to format a certain hard drive so here you have to be careful because you might end up erasing the hard drive but for now since we selected we created our own disk so there's nothing to worry about just press install now and then let leave it to do its thing okay so as you can see it will give us this message here we just want to click on continue okay then it will ask you where are you from okay so in this case i'll go with the same lusaka go with continue okay then it will ask you who are you so now here we have to provide our username so let's say for example okay your pc name okay so my pc name i want it to be the same channel's name okay pk username you can just do the same thing okay so here it's up to you to choose whatever you're going to put there so then password i'll just put my password there okay then you don't want to set it to lo auto login because meaning anyone who switches on the pc will log in otherwise just set it to here where it says require password to log in then you want to press on continue okay so that will be set now okay so now you want to since this uh step that is about to end uh, takes a bit of some time so you have to give it a, a good time to just do its thing leave it to to copy all the files that it needs and install and it will give us a progress bar which will wait for until it reaches 100 percent then we'll log in to ubuntu so as you can see this is a progress bar i was telling you about so we just want to wait for it to reach the far end to be 100 percent then our desktop environment should be ready so i'll fast forward the video to the point where it's done doing the installation but if there's anything in between that i need you to know i'll surely let you know about that part as well okay so once the installation is done you should see this message thing installation complete restart now so you can just click restart now so as you can see it's saying please remove installation media so in our case we just want to press enter just press enter leave it to reboot so once it reboots we should log into our desktop okay so as you can see we have our login screen right now which is the it contents user or whatever in your case whatever username you had put if you click on it to log in and put in the password that you had put in earlier okay so as you can see you have successfully booted into your ubuntu operating system and here as you can see it's just asking us to login into our accounts for now we'll just press on skip and then help improve ubuntu so this is up to you okay that's your preference i'll just say no next so in terms of location services this is up to you if you want to use it or not so for now i'll just leave it off for me if you want to switch it on you can switch it on i'll go with next now to tell me that you are ready 
to go and then you can just press done okay i'll just close that so now you've successfully installed ubuntu 22.04 okay so now you can start using it as you can see it's now fully fully functional and in the next video i'll be showing you how to create this to be full screen okay so if you like the video please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit notifications so that you don't miss any time i release a new video so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe